everyone and welcome back to more WWE 2K23 My Rise. In the last episode, Scream won the Apex Tournament in Japan and his comeback arc, I think, has come full circle. We don't know if he, if it's time for him to come back to the WWE. I guess we'll find out soon enough. We are back at the airport, as we saw at the end of the last episode. And like I said, I know this woman, Justine, is apparently a pivotal figure in the female My Rise this year, and I'm curious to find out what she has to say. If you haven't watched the last episode, I'll link it in the eye above my head. Before we get into this one, I would request everyone to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and without further ado, let's get this. Congratulations! So how does it feel to be the hottest thing in pro wrestling since Paul Heyman's undershirt? I'm the hottest thing in pro wrestling? Wait, yeah, I am the hottest thing in pro wrestling. At first, it's great running into you, Justine. Oh, I know Second, you? Second, I'm going to need a minute while I erase that image from my brain. Heyman's words, not mine. Set him on my podcast. Any chance you'd like to oh, come you on have the a show? Podcast? Talk about everything you've been through since you left WWE? Don't get me wrong. I'm a huge fan of your podcast. Tavish and I listen whenever we can. I'm just not sure I'm ready to start telling my story yet. Oh, come on. Your run in the Apex Tournament was incredible. And that's exactly what my listeners want to hear about. What do you say? I'll go easy on you. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Since it's you, apparently I know you. And you are, an, uh, you are a famous uh, podcast host. Okay, let's do it. <sighs> no time like the present, I guess. <laughs> let's do it. Great. Let's set up a time ASAP. Confirm story lost in translation. I don't know what this is about, but I'm curious to find out. Let's go. The hell? Ribby? Do you guys remember this guy from the last 2K22 Mirai series? Just like Jay Pierce. This one was a clown. I remember. Yeah, what's up, man? Hey, heard you on Justine's podcast. Loud and clear talking in code again about a platter of stale ribs you threw in the trash. Ah, clearly up to your old tricks. Uh, what have you been smoking, dude? I have to be totally honest. I have no idea who you are. Oh, burnt. Name's Chase. Had a stint at the PC recently? Or you might even know me as Ribby. Ring any bells? No, it doesn't ring any bells. Damn you, Ribby! Oh, for sure. You're that mascot guy who almost made his WWE. How'd that all play out? I like it when they plug oh, old characters into these games, you know. don't play dumb with me. You know games, exactly you know? how it played out. I never got a contract offer because you told Shawn Michaels to stay away from the ribs in catering. Which was clearly code to avoid me. You are reading way too much into this, dude. Wow. Listen, I'd love to stay and clear this nonsense up, but Cole Quinn called into my podcast appearance to talk smack, and now I've got to go give him a receipt. Behold, Cole making trouble again. Oh, I Why know. am I not surprised? I was listening. I like the part when he said you haven't changed one bit since your mocap meltdown. We'll see about that. Good luck, Chase. I hope you get to the bottom of whatever deranged conspiracy theories you were talking about. Yeah, I hope so. For your brain's safety. Oh, I doubt that very much. Cole Quinn says, LOL scream you think your rock bottom's behind you? I see a new lock bottom in you. Oh my god, you are as bad in making puns as you are a wrestler. Weird. This is once again in the LAW, I see. No idea where this is. All I know it's an LAW arena. Okay. But I guess my opponent is going, going to be B-hole cold. Come on, man. Let's show him what we can do. Oh, 
totally underwhelming. Yeah, you had the same entrance like three games ago. Let's whoop your ass quickly so I can go home. Whoa. Let's start with a Superman punch. And a spear. Get up. I don't have time for your nonsense, dude. I'm gonna whoop your ass and go home fast. Famous sir! Pele kick! Famous sir again. The hell? What the hell? What's happening here? Somebody tell me what's going on. Ribby! Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop gesturing. Idiot. Done that. Scoop slam. You thought you'll arrange for an interference from Ribby and get away with it? Yeah, you better roll out. Lights out. Bam. German suplex. This crossroads. Bam. It's time now. Get up. Taste the boot. Play more. I don't even need my finisher, dude. One, two, and three. Seriously guys, you need to stop, you need to stop picking fights with me, both of you, B-hole and Ribby. What? No. Had enough? What nonsense do you have to spout right now? Thought you could just blow me off, huh? Not so fast. So you're gonna hit me with a chair in the middle of a match? It's not polite to show up without an invitation, Chase. Guess they don't teach that in deranged mascot school. Yeah, Scream has gone nuts now. He's not even trying to be polite. A good one. But I think it's about time you start taking me seriously. Why? Why? Give me one good reason why I should start taking you seriously. You want serious? How about a match? Tonight? And if I win, you leave me the heck alone. You sure you don't want to catch your breath first? I'm not interested in Cole Quinn's leftovers. His leftovers? Did you see his condition after our match? Nope. You'll actually be doing me a favor. Two wins and one night is exactly the kind of buzz I need right now. Very confident for a WWE washout. Okay, tough guy. If you've got so much gas left in the tank, why don't we make it a no DQ match? You wanna dig a grave for yourself, Chase? Fine by me. Even better. No DQ match, right? Don't feel bad. If I whoop your ass like this. German! Pele kick! And a power bomb. Seriously, you could not see that there was one just there. Are you trying to hit me with a kendo stick? I'm gonna break this stick on your body. Get up! Get up!
Feats of the Bodrun. Come here. Samoan drop. End of day. Oh shit. You gonna reverse my signature like that? Then I'm gonna do this. Bam. Now shut up and leave me alone. Stupid bee hole, stupid ribby. I'm sick of these dudes. Story complete, lost in translation. Thank goodness that was a piece of crap. Anyways, let's continue. Davish, what up, mate? I have another big opportunity for you to generate some buzz in a different part of the world. Okay, so I'm gonna have to start paying you commission. What are you thinking? 25%, 30%? Or maybe 20% plus a cut of all future royalties. <laughs> I was kidding. Right. Me too. Anyway, I can get you on a show in Mexico teaming up with Hector Flores. WWE sending him to Lucha Magica for a special appearance, and the local promoters are looking for a hot commodity to team up with him. Hector Flores? Uh, well, it looks like it's not time yet to return to WWE and make my triumphant comeback. But Hector Flores, he's another character in the Performance Center last year. We had three uh, fellow com Performance Center, you know, like trainees or whatever, I guess you can call them. Uh, one was Paragon JPS, whom we beat up in the last episode, uh, like the episode after last, uh, before last. And then we had Ribby from this one, and then Hector Flores. Right? I'll do I it, I guess. I didn't cross paths with Hector much when I was in WWE, but I've heard he's a good guy. And if not, well, at least there will be some good exposure. I'll do it. All right. And the flight's on you, since, you know, I'm not getting paid for any of this. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Confirm story, a hairy situation. Why is it called a hairy situation? Why? It's kind of sus, no? All right, continue. Didn't know you were going to be here too. The hell you are uh, doing here, chosen? Same. I had enough of you after the Apex tournament. Thought I could be look free for a while. Oh my God, you and your. Don't bro. call me that. Okay. Look. Well, General, your ass you're right going here. to have to learn to get along better since you'll be teaming together tonight. What? I thought you said Hector Flores was my partner. Yeah, I Hector thought too. Hector is your partner. Both of yours. It's a trios match. You know, Lucha Libre tradition. The you hell? You gotta stop doing stuff like this, Tavish. I knew you'd throw a tantrum and not want to do it, which is why I didn't tell you. So I'll stop doing this stuff when you learn how to get outside of your comfort zone. Are you okay, done Dad. Yet? I don't want to do this either, but I'm not over here crying about it with a weird old wrestler who follows me around everywhere I go. Okay, I see your point about him, but it's too late to change the match. Just put your issues aside and work together. You don't have to be best mates or anything. Deal? It will be good content for my socials, I guess. So, I'll do it. <sighs> Fine. But just this one match. That's it. Davish keeps tricking me, even though he says it's for my own good. But, yeah, I don't know. Hello, Hector. Hey, Hector. I was happy to be teaming with you down here. Until I found out we were also teaming with Chosen. It will be fine. I've known Chosen for a while. He can certainly rub people the wrong way, but he means well. Okay. I'm willing to give this a shot. I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. I'm going to steer clear of him during the match. If you and I do our thing, I agree, we'll be fine. But enough about Chosen. What have you been up to lately? It's been an interesting time for me in WWE. I turned down the chance to join Los Lotharios, and they've been messing with me ever since. Okay. Ha, 
faction trouble. I had my fair share of that in WWE, too. You're better off on your own. Yeah, in this case, at least. Anyway, I'm happy to see you doing so well now. I had heard you were having a hard time after WWE. Someone said you got into a fight with Sami Zayn at a video game shoot? <sighs> yeah, that happened. But it's all in my past, and like you said, things are going well now. So let's keep the positive momentum going and get the W tonight. Sound good? Yeah. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Lucha Magica. Still to come, special guests Sector Flores, Scream and Chosen team together in exciting trios action. Chosen, one of those is more special than Oh Shut Up. I remember this arena from the old games, but I think this is the first time in this game that we have seen the Mexican arena, I guess. Alright, let's do this. We have, oh my god, El Mago Jr., El Ordinario, and Cole Quinn. You know, the line of villains, or, I don't know, nameless, faceless wrestlers from the old games. There's nothing to do with WWE, but everything to do with 2K games. Alright, I'm not focusing enough on the match. Let's get this done. El Mago should not be, El Mago Jr. should not be having this much fun at my expense. Anyways. All this. Crossroads. Famous sir. Simone drop. All this. Pele kick. German suplex. Get to the corner. Superman punch. Spear. No, you don't. Tagging, you tagging. End of days. This is officially over. Get lost, Cole Quinn. One, two, three. Easy as that. Less than a piece of cake. Okay, so we have a cutscene here. Alright. Who the hell are these people? People in masks? Damn! I bet these are the Los Lotarios or whatever that, that group that was messing with Hector Flores. Yeah, it's Los Lotarios. Sumberto and. I don't remember the names of the others. Welcome to a new era. We are Legado del Lotarios, says Angel Gaza. Okay, Umberto says Hector Flores made the mistake of turning us down, but everything happens for a reason. We are stronger now with Escobar and anyone who stands with Hector or gets in our way will suffer. Okay, Escobar says for history, for legacy, for my new family. We are ready to take control. Meh. Hector Flores says, You have crossed the line getting my teammates involved in our issue. Let's settle this now. Just us. Angel Garza says, The only way you'll see Legado del Lotharios in the ring is if you bring your partners back and Chosen's mask is on the line. Hector Flores, No chance. This isn't their problem. Chosen, It is now. I'll do it. Okay, I respect you for standing up for Hector. If Legado del Lotarios put their hair on the line. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. He makes it very interesting. Let's make it mask versus hair. Escobar. I accept on behalf of LL. We won't lose. So there's nothing to worry about. You may live to eat your words, dude. You may do that. 
Tavish says, be careful against this new group. They seem like they're out for blood. I told, I know I told you to learn to work with others, but some fights aren't worth it. Okay, he's advising me against to Hector Flores and Chosen to figure out our next move against the new, uh, some Lotharios that attacked us and has some beef with us, whatever. But all right, so the episode is up till here only. We will find out what we actions we take against the group that attacked us in the next episode. Till then, have a good one. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment and share. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.